YouTube. What's up, man? It's another one I'm here delivering at this customer. And um, some type of um, plastic pebbles. No, plastic pellets. I don't know exactly what it is. But I just brought it by 600 miles. And I'm here delivering. And for all who are looking to get, it, get into trucking, if you ever wonder where the what they do with the stuff that we deliver this place I'm at delivering they emptying me out and loading the second trailer right there with it there's the one right there by the mirrors so I guess this this stuff going overseas so they unload it from my trailer and load it directly to that trailer right there that's not a bad business because they don't have to store it. As soon as it come in, it go right back out. And a lot of these containers right here go to the port, the port of Jacksonville. Um, that's Trailer Bridge and Tote. They're the two larger ship line over at um, Blunt Island Port. That's the port I used to run in Jacksonville. But. I just made this quick video, man, because it's some, some people looking into getting into trucking that don't really know much about the product we haul. Some people don't even know what truck haul. So, that's just an insight on some of the new guys coming in. You're going to run into situations like this and sometimes take longer for them to unload you. Because they're loading another truck with the same product and sometimes they load they unload you a lot faster and then another time you might come and you might be in a situation where they're unloading another trailer and loading the product onto your trailer or some of the product onto your trailer so I just say that to say sometimes you get to a customer and you get held up because they're waiting for the truck to bring the product that you picking up. That gonna happen out here. So sometimes you sitting in the dock or they just tell you park off to the side cause the product not ready. It's times where they don't even have the product here. They're waiting on the other truck to bring the product and that truck might have been held up somewhere they could have run out of hours or where they pick up the load the load wasn't ready or they break down or something like that so that's all stuff you're gonna run into out here man when you get out here just have an open mind and just expect the worst and hope for the best cause it gonna happen all right check out my other videos man changing it up a little bit I know most of my videos are showing like repairs and stuff like that but I'm gonna put some just some basic information videos out there mostly for the new guys coming in because I run into a lot of them out here and they have a lot of questions so I'll be doing a lot of videos on those also